We welcome the Honorable Minister. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, good afternoon. Yes, sir. Today, uh, we have the Honorable Minister here. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, good afternoon. Today is a great day for the people of Sierra Leone. In August 2018, His Excellency President Julius Madabio launched a free quality school education program within the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education. We have a very clear goal to increase Sierra Leone's human capital through universal and equitable access to quality education. Over the last two years, we have seen a record number of students enrolled in schools all across the country. We have approved more schools, re recruited and trained more teachers, and expanded the education sector budget, all while working hard to maintain and even start improving standards. When COVID-19 hit us in early 2020, we had a major challenge at our hands. In addition to the health crisis, we had a looming learning crisis. All across the world, 1.6 billion children were out of schools. Many still have not returned. In Sierra Leone, the government made swift arrangements. We established an emergency education task force with our partners. We asked all schools to conduct continuous assessments for pupils, and we supported teachers in distance learning. Government expanded the education radio program so that our pupils can continue learning. Over the subsequent weeks and months, we have had many successes. Please permit me to list a few. We overturned the 10 years ban on pregnant girls attending school, welcoming back several in our classrooms. Many of these young girls are victims. We see them, we hear them, and we welcome them. We complemented this now globally celebrated policy with clear actions. We traveled right across the country to raise awareness on girl-child education and encouraged girls to enroll in school and stay in school through our Zero School Girl Pregnancy Campaign. These girls now have a better chance and brighter future. We incorporated new methods under the 2019 Early Childhood Development Program and launched the Basic Education Curriculum Framework. These efforts support our pupils in their physical, socio-emotional and cognitive welfare, their security and overall learning. We reached some of the remotest of areas offering teaching and learning materials to those who needed it the most. All class six pupils nationwide benefited from the national school feeding program through dry ration distribution. Additional food was supplied to kids in the most vulnerable chiefdoms in line with our human capital development priorities. We expanded on our radical inclusion and comprehensive safety guidelines and we introduced the national school bus service to transport children and teachers safely across the country when inter-district restrictions were lifted. We worked with the National COVID-19 Emergency Response Center to develop and roll out comprehensive guidelines for the partial school reopening for students in exam classes. We recorded zero COVID-19 cases in schools over a total of six weeks of tuition. Approximately 800,000 students came back to school at class six, GSS three, and SSS three levels. Masks were provided to all pupils and wash materials supplied to all schools, among other interventions. The education radio teaching program is nationwide, albeit not in every chiefdom or community yet. The program has successfully delivered 1,300 hours of teaching. We will continue to use it to enhance and support learning. We launched other digital tools for online and mobile learning with our partners. And most importantly, we remained engaged in the learning and welfare of our children. So when I'm asked about whether there is quality education, I say that's where we're going. Quality is a process and we are on it. As a ministry, we are committed to ensuring that every Sierra Leonean child is treated with dignity and is guaranteed access to quality educational services 
That's the vision of His Excellency President Julius Madabio. This is why, for the first time in recent history, even when we have recorded the largest number of candidates ever, today we release the National Primary School Examination within our new standard of 45 days. This is important because it allows parents the opportunity to prepare, plan and support their children to continue their junior secondary school education. I would like to thank the leadership of the West African Examination Council, WIAC, for its diligence and close collaboration. Our other partners, in particular the Sierra Leone Police, IG Sovula and the Anti-Corruption Commission, Commissioner Francis Benkaifala, for supporting us in addressing examination malpractice and other irregularities. Now, let me share the following examination data, which are official records from WIEC on the just concluded 2020 National Primary School examinations. However, before I tell you the top scores for 2020, I would like to congratulate all the candidates who took the MPSC this year. You have made us extremely proud. There was uncertainty, lost learning time, emotional challenges, and this was the largest ever number of MPSC candidates in our history. Yet, your cohort has had the highest individual score in the last five years. We believed in you and you have not let us down. A total of 146,649 learners, 72,825 boys and 73,824 girls took the examinations this year. This includes our Sierra Leonean children in Guinea. These candidates came from 3,996 schools across 262 exam centers. Now, in order of top merit, the top 10 candidates nationwide. From the International School Limited Primary, with a score of 367, our top candidate is Akibo Betts Giselle, age 11, female. The second best candidate from Providence International Elementary School, Brookfields, with a score of 366, is Kolia Aminata E, age 12, female. Joint third best, Konte Zainab HE, age 11, female, from Eva Houston Preparatory School in Kisi, with a score of 365. Smith Joshua Olufemi George, age 10, male, with a score of 365 from Modern Elementary School, Congo Cross. Dukure Jalo Solange, age 11, male, with a score of 365 from Tower Hill Kindergarten and Primary School. Tijan Serela Mata, age 9, female with a score of 364 from Matili International School Hill Station. Martin Leonela Ayodele M, age 11, female, with a score of 363 from Bavia Prep School in Congo Town. Kanu Precious GW, age 11, female, with a score of 362 from Eva Houston Preparatory School in Kisi. Kuruma Esther Kumba, age 10, male, with a score of 360 from the Camp Academy School, Tengwe Town. Tara Bemba, age 11, male, with a score of 360 from Daily Nursery and Preparatory School in With this, from Daily Nursery and Preparatory School. Ba Poku Rina, age 10, female, with a score of 360 from Paramount International Academy. Jala Mohamed RM, 11, male, with a score of 360 from the International School Limited. 
they make up the remainder of the top 10 list nationwide. And this is also for the Western region. And for the top five candidates per region, Eastern region, the top candidate, Saki Mary Sia Destiny, female, age 12, with a score of 356 from Free the Children Primary School Koidu, Komba Dokas Kumba, 12, female, with a score of 354 from Free the Children Primary School Koidu, Jusu Abdullahi, 16, male, with a score of 349 from Badruddin Islamic Primary School, Shegwema. Kalon Bendu, age 9, female, with a score of 347 from Badruddin Islamic Primary School, Shegwema. Lamte Gifti, age 10, female, with a score of 344 from the Daw International Primary School, Kenema. Northern Region. Conte Betibi, age 12, female, 351 from Adonai Prep Academy, Rotifunk. Conte Amarayu, age 10, female, 345 from Adonai Prep Academy. Sanko Abdullahi Jr., age 11, male, 344 from Kindaya Preparatory School, Cambia. Stevens Davida Aisatu, age 12, female, 342, 43, from Holy Spirit Primary School, McKinney. Bla Aminata A, age 10, female, 343, from Adonai Prep Academy, Rotifong. 